Today we will talk about the beautiful Japanese holly fern. I'm giving my poor plant some care and helping it get better. Sertomium, commonly known as holly fern, is a group of over 30 species that are native to Asia and Africa. Over here in the US, only four species are commonly available to gardeners. You can see the names on the screen. After I broke my hand, this holy fern was half forgotten in a corner outside in the front porch. So, for you not to do the same, let's talk about how much sun is too much sun for the holy fern. The holy fern likes bright light and part shade. In Texas, that means don't leave it in the summer, even just for the morning sun. It is not going to be happy and you will not be happy either. Hello plant parents, this is Martha with The Living Backyard. This is not a plant that you live outside in Texas unless you have a particularly good microclimate where your holy fern is protected and happy. Like every plant, some feel happier in some places, some take better, some take poorly. So check in your local weather and if you see it in places outdoors, that's a good indicator that you can trust to leave it outside. If you live in a cooler area, it can stand more sunlight and be in a flower bed, but generally just bright light and in shady areas. The glossier the leaves, the less direct light they can stand. That's a tip. The holy fern with the type of more opaque leaves like the one I have can stand a little bit more heat, but in hotter areas it is preferable to keep it as an indoor plant. Why are the leaves turning brown? Holy fern leaves will turn brown both indoors and outdoors when the humidity level is too low. Also, if there is too much water, but the difference is that when the leaves are soft and brown, you need to lower the watering. And if the leaves are too brown and crispy, it means they need more humidity. So if possible, bring it indoors. And if it is already indoors, say in the winter, and the humidity level is low, maybe spray it every couple of days with some water mist and keep it away from the heat. Should you cut off the dead leaves? As you see, yes, I cut off all the dry brown leaves of the holy fern and gave it a good haircut. Well, good is debatable, but you know what I mean. I made sure that the new leaves were showing and I cut part of the full leaves, everything that was brown, full or just half of the leaf, to give room for the new curly fronds. Eventually, I'm even going to cut the ones I left because the new ones will be popping up and it will look much better. How much water do the holy fern need? Japanese holy ferns like moist soil, well drained, not soggy soil at all. They do not like to be sitting on wet dirt because they can develop root rot and brown leaves. If you have it in a pot indoors, just fill the soil with your finger and if it is too moist, wait a few days to water again. In the winter, they need even less water. So it is good to keep an eye and a finger checking on the fern to check if it is not too wet or too dry. If you cannot find locally the Super Thrive, I will have a link in my information box below, but also the miracle Grow is really good. The all-purpose is good enough to feed the roots. I selected a pretty ceramic pot and I am going to add a liner, which is a simple plastic bag because I don't want one container dripping on the other one. I did not change the fern from the nursery plastic pot into anything else. 
and after it had a good amount of water to drink with the vitamins I am getting ready to move it to the other planter and just like that it's going to go and grow much nicer much healthier and in a shiny spot a bright spot indoors for a good long while I'm not even sure if I'm going to take it outside again but after all of this the Japanese holly fern is going to be much healthier and happy if you're enjoying this video give it a thumbs up that helps a lot and share it with a friend that loves plants as well How do you revive a browning fern? By cutting the dry leaves, placing it in a sunny location but far from direct sun, you're giving your holly a better chance to revive. And also water it with vitamins is a great thing to help revitalize the fern and help the new baby leaves pop up. If your Japanese holly fern is outdoors, and looking sickly, you probably need to change the location into a more shady spot. And like most ferns, they enjoy humidity, but not too wet. They don't like soggy. However, if you catch it on time, you can rescue your fern and bring it back into a beautiful shape by placing it in a shelter area, prune it if needed, and give it vitamins. See you in the next one. Happy gardening.